Running around the map, just hiding behind the walls, but it's the Atlanta Rain who are going to be taking the initiative. The Holt going to be pulling them back as they try and get split up into two, into twain. Look at this, the Gladiators finding a bit of work here. An early pick onto Gator. The point does slip over towards the Atlanta Rain, though, which is always nice for them. But it is a 5v6 fight. And as soon as the cooldowns come back on, Coalescence comes through. Birdring has to use that Wraith to try and back off. Finding it very difficult to remove Pelican out of this fight. But eventually he goes down, but not before Kele uh, Kevster also traded out. Still in this fight, though, Kai pumping in the damage. That was two headshots back to back. And Moth and Birdring will be falling. So it's looking kind of tasty for the Gladiators, but unfortunately not enough to try and rip it away from the Atlanta Rain. Atlanta are always going to be able to back off with it. Here we go, Kevster though with Duplicate and the Coalescence. So Speed Boost, Cole are going to be great initiation tools, and then they can Duplicate in order to close this out. Well, Kevster's going to be duplicating up now. Samara is going to be meeting them. The Atlanta Rain trying to keep this fight going just a little bit longer. That self-destruct connects onto Muse. But this should be done, surely, as the Gladiators have flipped over the point early enough. Look at how split the Atlanta Rain are playing here. Just trying to hunt down all these little individual pieces across the map. Ults to be able to utilize with it. There they go again with a little short range dive, but Kevster gets picked by the Reaper of all things. Oh, wow, yeah, and that dead eye Birdering is gone. The DPS not existing, actually, on this mortal plane. Saftestruck comes through. Muse, okay, that's the Primal Rage onto Massa. Wasn't oh, able to just, back. yeah, wasn't able to actually pull anybody else into it. A coalescence from Shu as well. He's gonna get stunned out of it here. Kai still wants to keep his team back in the action, but the good news for the Gladiators is they flipped over that point as that entire fight was actually taking place. So, the Atlanta Rain are slowly trying to win out this fight. I mean, they've got the damage for it, certainly. Uh, but luckily didn't lose too much. I think a big performance from Kevster here, otherwise it's curtains in the first round. Gator is... Okay, he's laid down the supercharger. Birdering. Oh, he's eyeing it up. He needs to uh -oh. be so careful at the off-angle here. Look at that immortality field. It is perfect. And yeah, Kai just layers in that dead eye. Got a sandbar on top of it. Yeah, no one is going to be able to contest that one. And uh, you're right, Josh. The Atlanta Rain had the perfect read. The perfect okay, yeah, I mean, he's getting tons of seismic slam damage when he comes around here. And th these close corridors, I mean, it's good for the comp, but it's bad to play into this Doomfist. And if Pelican picks and chooses his battles well, could be on a win inside. Still, Massa goes down early. No more speed boost, and that's the DMAC as well. I don't think this is going to be winnable. Gladiators are the ones who are walking away with victory for now and getting a lot of these stagger kills. No pressure being applied to the point just yet, but they're just trying to make sure that, I guess, the Atlanta Rain is so nobody in a bad position whatsoever. They have let the Atlanta Rain in through the choke point, but here we go, the aggression, it's just crushing. Yeah, Coalescence actually traded from both sides, and Pelican is going to struggle to try and get a lot of work done. That's a great ultimate, as Kevster actually ended up getting the duplicate off. And okay, Kai comes in with the Death Blossom. Now the Sound Barrier to try and keep them up. That Meteor Strike doesn't quite connect, so it didn't bring down Oh, wow, that was actually a really unfortunate timing to be losing that ultimate. He could have taken out that supercharger, but it gives them just the extra bit of damage they need to close out this team fight. The Gladiators, they don't have the bodies anymore. The health just got eviscerated. That is absolutely brutal. Really, Pelican has to get a pick. Okay, they've actually baited a bit of aggression from them. It forces out the sound barrier. And now we see the duplicate here. Kepster just trying to basically destroy that supercharger, trying to get the damage in. Oh my goodness, though. Look at that. Kai comes in with a Death Blossom. It's going to be cleaving through a bit of the uh, the ultimates that were laid down. A Supercharger and Duplicate removed. And yeah, the Atlanta Rain. Around the side, getting through very quickly on here. She's going to have his Coalescence way before Iris does. And Pelican's yeah. ultimate is forced. There's a halt as well, but it doesn't get anything. <gasps> Yeah, Pelican tried to go aggressive with that Meteor Strike. It won't be happening. And look at that boop. Sets him up perfectly. Muse just bashing them into a corner. Gladiators, 83%. Will be flipping this up eventually. Is the Atlanta Rain yet yeah, going to be losing it? it out with the bodies that they've got. Look at that work that's being put into them. Hawk goes down. Iris just about builds up the Coalescence. Now he's going to be letting it loose. Kevster, though, moving over to the Doomfist. The Seismic Slam Hawk is out of here. Can there be any sort of clutch coming out from him? Moff dies with the sound barrier, but Shu comes back in now with one of his own. Surely this isn't turnable. Kevster still putting in work, and there you go. The DPS duo is making sure that they are pushed off the point. Kevster and Birdering doing their jobs in the... Diva's going to be able to pressure him. This is a very individualistic composition from the Gladiators. Yeah, looking for, 
I guess, some of their players to try and pop off and uh, make up for it. For sure, <laughs> that is a great start. And that's why you don't jump against the Widowmaker. You become very predictable. You move in one straight arc. Uh, still red. an even fight, but yeah, not for much longer. There you go. The Gladiator's going to be closing this one out. You want any and more Widowmaker tips? Like, yeah, hard for them. Oh, nice. Gladiators can just harass and keep backing off. And Atlanta are forced to avoid the Widow sight lines, contest the payload. Uh, sorry, contest the point. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Well, Kai and Iris are gone, finishing this fight. And yeah, just waiting out that fortify. Uh, Gator will fall as well. Just like that. Very firmly in control. Oh, brutal breath. Able to find pick after pick here as the Atlanta Rain push in. There's barely anything going on. These team fights, they're just devastating. Gator and Hawk use both of their ultimates, and nothing happened in the slightest. The Gladiators are in full control. His head would have been taken clean off. Sandbar in as well as Space Remex finds that pick onto Iris. Immortality Field can't save you this time, Batiste. And what another shot from Bird Ring picks off the Dome of Gator. And this is Atlanta, Atlanta Rain just crumbling here. This composition did not work for them. Gladiators already with a great plan of how they want to disassemble that. And there goes the first map. Basan very firmly in favor of the Gladiators. See if he can get anything. Oh, headshot onto Pelican. But he just can't quite get it. That's Massa's value again on the Mercy. Some beautiful shots, but not getting the kill. But, yeah, there we go. The Atlanta Rain trying to roll over them, but no one's dealt with Bird Ring in the back line. And he is deadly. I mean, we were singing this guy's <laughs> praises uh, about how he's certainly found his footing. Okay, that, that Matrix gets used indoors. I don't think anybody can really follow up on it, actually. Comes off and around to the corner. It's an odd one, for sure. Trying to basically put a lot of pressure into them. Gator ends up going down, but rests up straight away. And Kai, still a threat there on the Widowmaker. Muse falls. Not going to be able to get no anything else with side. this one. Yeah, no res going to be happening. Is taking the approach again around this corner. It's hard for Kai to try and get any value. This payload in the way, but they've been pressured pretty heavily. And Pelican, look at those sticky bombs. Already doing the work as Skewed goes down. And again, no mercy to try and res that one up. Gladiators at a big disadvantage in this fight. Having to expend a couple of ultimates to see if they can try and win this fight. Kev's actually going to be moving over. Actually, this is a duplicate. Well, onto the Batiste, but taken out of it pretty quickly here as the Ant Matrix are laid down on either side, but way too much damage coming out from the Atlanta Rain. And now a minute remaining. Gladiators they expended a couple of ultimates into that fight, but ultimately the Atlanta Rain. It's one of your tanks already, and now Pelicans moved over to the Orissa. Got a lot of tanks on the field here. Building up these superchargers. <laughs> Look at Bird that. Ring? Okay, Bird Ring's got to try and do something here at this off angle. He brought down Kai, but now he's being spammed from afar, just trying to dodge a juke, but unfortunately not enough to try and evade the Gravitic Flux that comes up and down. It hasn't fallen just yet. In fact, Hawk will be the one who's traded with it with his life. The tanks being halted forward, pulled forward. Gladiators still steadily pressing the advantage of Muse. He's found two somehow. The rest comes through, and now the Supercharger traded out once more. Gator wants to push again, trying to stop them right where they stand. A lot of pressure being applied into the back line here, but Pelican's been given a lot of space to perform. Muse still trying to hold down this front line with the Fortify up. He's going to be reducing a bit of that damage coming his way, but he's going to get chunked down now. There we go. The beam way too much to try and overcome. And the Atlanta Rain keeping this overtime going. South Destruct as well. Comes Wait, through. That actually pick. caught Massa. That's a big pick. Overtime still going here. Do they have any ultimates to try and walk with? Not quite, not yet. They've got to try and push them away from this one. The Atlanta Rain have got too much brawn and brawl capabilities at this point. This is huge. They're able to stay alive for so long. The sustainability is just absurd with the Brigitte and the Baptiste. Skewed has just been swinging all the time, that activating his AoE healing left, right, and center. And the Gladiators come out on top of the team fight. That is the advantage of the Brig right there. comes through. Kai doesn't have one of his own. He needs to be so careful about the positioning he's playing. Birdering had all the information in the world. Now he's going to be looking to deny the res here. Holt comes through off onto the side. Missing a shot, but the accretion connects. That grasp ate up one of the shots, but it's bought them so much space. The Gladiators are just steamrolling this now. 
What a beautiful play. Birdwin getting maximum value out of, his, out of his infrasight. It's not just the pick that he's able to land on Kai. It's all of that information on where the Atlanta Rain are playing because it sets up for the easiest little halt of Muse's life. The Gladiators are rolling through. Checkpoint B is under their control as well. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. When does this train end? Gladiators' team composition ends up working really well. There's a whole flux to initiate. Yep, hold on, Flux. Ooh. Oh my goodness, Kai. Okay. Sent in the arrows. It was looking wow. pretty monstrous, honestly. The Gladiators tried to combo oh that one up, word. but just getting saved so much here. These Kai putting shots. in the consistent work with these shots. Yeah, they're just really far. What an accretion, though. It cancels the Oh my the goodness. Flux. The accretion comes through. The Gravitic Flux is no more. They're going to try and take this a little bit further forwards. Kevster just trying to build up that, that Gravitic Flux of one of his own here. Obviously, he gets the increased charge rate, sends it up, but doesn't quite connect still. The Atlanta range struggling to hold on. Pelican comes in, but again, stunned up. There was two accretions coming his way. The beam forces him back into the spawn area. 19 seconds remaining. The Gladiators are just going to try and cap this one up. Bird ring, what is that? Sending in the arrows from afar. That is way too much work that he's outputting right there. And they are going to be able to get that capture. All three checkpoints go in the way of the Gladiators there. Halterin still putting in that pressure, but the shields have gone down. The gladiators want to press forwards now that they know that there's nothing really stopping them and getting in their way. Oh, but they've fallen straight into Pelican with the damage boost and the hold. Combo's up, skewed, taken out, and there's no res for that. Gladiators forced to expend this amp matrix just to try and push the positioning away. And despite Pelican going down, he's instantly going to get resed up. The fight continues. Nice little flashbang connects, but the damage is already done. Pelican putting in so much work, being healed up as well. They're trying to remove him from the fight. He's just hopping around as Kai cleans up. Great cleanup from the Atlanta Rain, but also... But Gladiators are still going to get an opportunity to recontest. Only a minute left here, as long as the Kevster can escape, which he does. They will have a chance to brawl, and this is where the break in theory should get value. But, I mean, you'd love a mercy to res that, wouldn't you? It's over already. Yeah. Yeah, the ultimates get committed. I mean, Gravitic Flux is committed as well into this fight. Okay, Kai goes down, but three picks now for the Atlanta Reign as they're rolling it in. It's not looking too ideal. Still got a couple of bodies to, I guess, keep it from... Uh, I'll stop it for just a moment. This is Jupiter. Where has he gone for yeah, that? Yeah, it's just it to adjust position. Oh, but there was a whole combo. It found Bird Ring. Yeah, Bird Ring's going to be falling. The Supercharger's committed. <laughs> But into potentially a losing Styled fight, yeah. On. Okay. Kev's uh, taken out of the duplicate form. Second Gravitic Flux comes through, though. Second breakfast. Why not? <laughs> uh, but it won't be enough. The Atlanta Rain have got all the picks they need here. Iris does go down. Uh, maybe I've called it a little bit too early here. Now, Kai is still popping off. Space is trying his hardest to turn up here. The tank line of the Gladiators are rolling over them, falling very, very low as Pelican is finding space. But there we go, Gladiators, they get the defense going. The tank line's important to defend this area of Rialto. Remember how we opened this up? Oh, hello. That's okay. Aggressive on the bridge. Trading. Yeah, Kemsa will fall. The damage is still being put into them here. But it seems like the Atlanta Reign are just closing out this team fight. <laughs> okay, yeah, Skew can't really do much. I cannot believe the amount of damage that Kai is outputting in these fights <laughs> over and over and over again. LA Gladiators are going to be able to come back and contest the actual objective itself. But who is Pelican going to duplicate? Muse falls so weak. Pelican might just go for it. Okay, well, Pelican going to be duplicating over to the Orisa, just trying to build up this supercharger. The Shoe pick. goes down. Oh my god, it's huge. And yeah, way too much to try and overcome this one. The Atlanta Reign just in time are going to be able to cap this one up. So they're granted a bit of a lifeline now. One minute, 30 seconds from capturing that one up. To try. So you can see Space trying to push this off angle. Gets caught. The Gravitic Flux is going to catch him out. Skewed and the Immortality Field is committed to just try and keep Space up. The Accretion connects as well. And Kevster goes down. The Atlanta Rain still pressing forwards now. With Kevster out of the mix, they don't have a lot of damage to work with. The Ant Matrix, the Sticky Bombs, it's all layered on top. And the Atlanta Rain are going to be able to push this one potentially to the finish line. It is going to be so hard How for them to be able this? to get in. Okay, yeah, it comes off on the side. Someone's got to come up huge here. The Atlanta Rain have all the positioning they need to try and win this one out as the point tries to get contested. Just throwing bodies 
into the mincemeat grinder there, but the supercharger layered on top, so the Atlanta Rain will get that capture under their belts. He's going to be able to touch this one, but Accretion comes through. Oh, just about oh, has the fly. No, the whip shot skewed, catches him, and now the Amp Matrix as they try and just chuck the bodies onto the point to keep it going again. It's probably not going to be enough. The res onto Pelican. Anybody else to try and touch this? The off angle comes through into the back as Kai just tries to flank around, but he's removed from the fight once again. And Pelican with the duplicate is going to get a bit more armor, a bit more health. Supercharger as well. The spawners are coming back in, but is it going to be enough to stall heroes? Gravitic Flux catches Gator. It's going to be launching him right back down again, and they're going to be stopping them just short of that corner. Fantastic defense through, but look at this already. You have to take the team fight at the corner, and this is where you start to contest. Playing very far back, actually, just trying to play out of range, I suppose, of Skewed putting in that healing, but... It, oh, done. that's a whip shot. Hawk goes down, the tanks have fallen, and it's done. But utilizing this Ant Matrix, they've taken the entirety of the point. Great work, really decisive. Oh, Pelican just about catches Moth, but that's probably going to be rest. Yeah, indeed it is. Massa straight away in there. Can they try and deal with the rest of the players in the Atlanta Reign with that window of opportunity? Gator falling very, very low, but Pelican, remember, he got messed up into this fight. He's still active with the rest of their team. The longer it goes, the better it seems to be going for the Atlanta Reign to fly uh -oh. forwards just to try and deal with this one. Duplicate has to be used. Pelican, the dynamite. Surely that's enough to coach gun on top. It is. But Ultimate's committed. And honestly, an even trade out. Gladiators, I think, might be favored. Duplicate on board. And look how quickly the Gladiators oh. storm their way in. Yep, Hawk trapped into the corner. The duplicates ended up being used, taken out of it straight away. Kai dealing with that one. Res comes through though. Muse and Hawk are going to be brought back up on both sides here. So the tank line still healthy. The fight continues in close quarters as both teams are going to be shifting a lot of what they're putting emphasis on. Hawk again with the grass, just trying to stay alive, but the dynamite damage is more than enough. Moth will fall as well. But can anybody else try and reset the positioning here? Ooh, forced out here. Kevsa has to use the duplicate. Moves over to the Orisa, taken out immediately, straight away. It seems like the Atlanta Reign are more than ready for this one. We're going to see some big performances out of the DPS to try and clutch it, but Moth and Kevsa have already gone down. The Atlanta Reign with a firm hold onto this point. Massa goes down though. Bird Ring still active up onto this high ground. But surely they're going to be falling as the tank line eventually is going to be drifting away. There you go. Nobody can touch. A beautiful hold here from the Atlanta Reign, stopping them. Able to find a long range hit in a way that, sure, the Ash can, but the Hanzo, the burst damage is just obscene. And Matrix, they might be able to catch Muse as well. Kepsa has to come up huge here. Okay, the Arisa onto the high ground. The Holt pulling together, forces out the immortality field, but the tank line, uh, they're kind of in a rough position. Still, Hawk gets traded out, taken out. In the end, it's a rough fight to be taking this one. Prolonged out. You can see the Ammatrix comes through. Will Pelican fall? He will. And now the high ground keeps us in so much trouble. You're, you're dancing on a knife's edge when you go for those kind of plays. Dragon Strike's built up. Kai has been massive with these in the past. It's going to split them up and buy space for Iris to be rezzed back up into the fight. But the Supercharger comes up from Muse. You can see using the fortify, fortify to try and body block so it stays up, but it's going to get taken down. Now Kai onto the high ground. Oh my goodness, the arrow. It's going to connect. Bird Ring goes down. Not enough to deny the res though. Still available onto the high ground, but as that was happening, the tanks are susceptible, and now the Atlanta Rain are rolling over them. The Ant Matrix is laid down. The Immortality Field, they've got way too much that they're working with here. Bob's going to come through, but should eventually get taken out as the accretion is going to be pushing them back and yet not really enough. Kev's the last guy standing will not be enough. Away from them. Slowly but surely. And Matrix now is not going to be contested too much and Kai will fall. He didn't really have anywhere to go. Just had to play into that one and it should be inevitable at this point that the Gladiators will cap up this point. All about that high ground control. Just really methodical, great play from the Gladiators. They get up there as well by a combination of putting pressure from the coast with... Uh, with Murdering at this flank position needs to be careful. And Pelican's trying to hunt him down. The sticky bombs come through. <gasps> what a shot. Damage boosted up. Oh my goodness. And they've bought space as well. That... Oh, not, not actual space, but they've, they've taken space on the map. And now they're <laughs> going to be denying that res. Okay, Gator goes down as well, and the Resurrect not available there because it's already been used on Hawk. There's a huge amount of damage coming through, all combo beautifully together. 
And this payload is not stopping. Attack through. But if the gladiators play their cards right with these ultimates and they're taking the initiative as it's all layered down, Gravitic Flux will connect onto a couple of targets again into the backline, but Hawk, not enough to connect, will convert into any sort of kills. Superchargers on either side as well as the ultimates are just being traded on either side. It's Muse who's the one who's actually caught slacking ever so slightly. Supercharger goes down. Pelican with a duplicate. You might as well throw out a Gravitic Flux. Why not? About to get taken out of the form. But yeah, this was the silver line. And crucial. Lays it down. Bob's going to be stopped in its tracks, actually, nice. from the Fortify of Gator. That's that's actually really nice. Damage boost immediately removes that ultimate from the fight. And Birdring goes down. Can they deny the res positioning? It's going to get off. So Moth will be able to bring the team back up into it. 6v6. Birdring getting chunked down, though, from afar Dynamite. again. Oh my goodness, dynamite damage and Pelican just putting in those stray shots. That is too much to overcome. So the Atlanta Rain, that time bank that was initially around five minutes, now being too much damage. And it pushes the positioning away. Duplicate into the hole, into the accretion. Holy moly, that's a ton of damage. That's an instant Gravitic Flux. Catches onto two, but traded out on either side. Pelican also had a pretty similar idea, actually. He's duplicated over to the Sigma himself, but no one phenomenal. really expects Kevza to be flanking in this kind of position. Oh. oh my goodness, that was so inoptimal there. That duplicate timing, he got taken out of it, and it meant the accretion actually ended up connecting. Bob comes through, just trying to bring down that supercharger, takes it out, and the Atlanta rain just about getting the people in order. The players back online off the back of those respawns. They did eventually take him out, and Atlanta rain it is the five player up fight. They're going to get the reservoir to Iris, but not before Gator will go down. Trading out their space. The shots ringing out from Kevster. Trying to take out a couple of these players. Flashbang. Not going to be doing too much work as the Fortify was used immediately there by Pelican. Switching back over and now the Supercharger is built. The holds into the power driver with all that damage. That is ridiculous. It's such a fantastic halt. You could have convinced me that that was Gator, but instead he swapped the Supercharger damage, the Deadeye. That shield is going to be dropping them. This is almost perfect. Kiting coming through, but not enough. Oh my goodness. The Gladiators. That is a lot of damage that they put out. Master and Hawk will be finished. Pelican follows shortly afterwards. Kai has to come up huge, but no one's going to be touching that card to try and stop it from even entering that third and final checkpoint. The Gladiators that the Gladiators did. He's so active. Gator and Hawk already have shots. so much position. Our Matrix is going to be used and Gator's taken out, but Pelican, yeah, he ended up going in with the beam there and nobody is really keeping Kai in check. The DPS is absolutely so dominating. Close. This is ridiculous. The duplicate has to be used as Pelican's just trying to stay into the fight. The Hulk pulling onto one of the targets. Through. Now Ultimate's coming out though. Gravitic Flux onto two. Kevster. Trying to make good work of that one. He was holding on to oh, the high Muse ground here, but that stuck. that dragon strike. And yeah, Muse stuck. That's a supercharger gone again. It's not the first time in this series. And Bobbins are putting in a decent amount of work there. As Muse was rezzed up, but look at that shield perfectly in place. So Pelican's back into the fight, right into the Gravitic Flux. Is it going to be enough to try and stop them here? Well, Muse eventually will fall once again. So trading his life out. And the Atlanta Rain, it feels almost... Like this slow siege here, again grinding out the win as they have the damage advantage. Muse having a nightmare of a team fight there. He was trying to back away from the dragon strike that came in from Kai. Yeah, if you look at the ultimates that Atlanta are working with, ooh, I don't know, it's looking pretty difficult. That's an early immortality field, but immediately the instant capitalization. Kevsa is off onto the side though. The beam will tear through the grasp of Hawk. Doesn't eat up any of that damage. But with this amp matrix laid down and Kai and Pelican still alive, it's really feeling like a bit of a DPS difference at the moment. The cart will start to move forward, and now they've got past one of the most difficult by a team fight. He must have been with Kevsa at the beginning. And here it comes through that halt. No follow up from Muse. Dragon Strike to force positioning. And now they're pushing into a supercharger. That's dangerous and a Bird great flank from Birdring. Birdring on the flank has to do some more magic though. Possibly another kill. The res comes through for Iris. Needs to try and remove some of these targets. That is great work there from the Gladiators. It was looking really shaky. But ultimately, they are able to do it. Massa with the... Okay, with the blast. <laughs> Took out this amp matrix. Birdering? Oh, no. Is Birdering being caught there? He's like, I don't know. off angle. Just trying to pump in the damage. Shu with the immortality field up close. But he's the only one who's going to be the recipient of it. He's been taken out. The Atlanta Rain. 
I mean, they've kind of picked them apart there, but it feels like the Gladiators almost outplayed themselves. Still, Burdering is in this fight, and the Rez is going to get off here. Bob's going to be bringing Kemster back into the fight, but they've got to try and take out these tanks. Bob to contest. That's quite a nice... Allowing them to contest the payload. It got so close there, and in such a scrappy skirmish. Oh, yeah, it's a flux. It catches on tons of people. And Kai goes down. I mean, even outside of the Gravitic Flux, they get zero value out of it. The damage is already done. Someone's on the car. Oh, no. Have they realized? Okay, Pelican's trying to be cheeky. They do recognize it. I... Don't. Yeah, I he always see one of those. Right, on checkpoint C. There's the Dragon Strike once more. Okay. Now we see the Kevster just, again, moving over. So the Sigma trying to make it work. Malikan also realizing he's trying to go for this one. Massive with the res onto Iris. The Amp Matrix, though, they're trying to turn it around. Shu wants to put in a bit of that damage to grass being used. And Gladiator's a little bit split here. Can they kill Space, who's caught out around this corner? Burdering? Oh, my goodness, yeah. Fighting off a little bit too much. But the res. The res no one was there no to, one's there to, to deny, deny the res. with the beam. Oh, my word. And they're going to be trying to pin to them as well in the final minute. Atlanta Rain have to decide, how do we want to take this fight? We're trying to back off, but... Again, right into the meat grinder. Look at this on the off angle. It's actually trying to put in a bit of work. This Kempster has built up the Gravitic Flux. It sends the teams back up and down again. Hawk goes down the res. Will it be denied? Gravitic Flux oh. catches up space with two. That is ridiculous. Make it the third. They will not touch it. And the Gladiators holding them just around that corner, whittling down the time bank. They're going to take the series overall three to one. Elation and double thumbs up in the Gladiators camp there from Shu. They know that the world was watching. Gladiators have so many expectations this season. People were predicting them to win the whole league, Brent, in 2021. And they've they've not been performing at that kind of level. This is a big win. You might say if you sat at home, well, it's not that big of a win. They're all